clearly remember growing up as a small child, remembering the stories of my great-grandfather and my grandfather, and how they would always be baling hay or be disking in the field with their 1946 farm oleum. And after um, a recent discovery of his 8mm films, that was his, um, came across a video of that, and I knew that was the inspiration for my tractor restoration. And so I did that in memory of him. I was going through some paperwork and recently came across the bill of sale from the auction my great-grandfather had. Due to cancer, he had to sell his 1946 Farm OM. That, that really tugged on my heart right there. That was, that was something that I couldn't even imagine going through. So I knew I needed to get something at least close to that era tractor and keep that in memory of him. Earlier this year, I was so excited, I found a 1946 Farm OM. So when I finally got to show my parents a tractor, and then we found out there was a national competition, the Chevron Dello National Tractor Restoration Competition. We knew that things were falling into place, and my parents were behind me 100%, and told me to go for my dreams, and I did just that. I know it sounds great, you know, achieving your dreams and everything, but it had its struggles, and plenty of them. They even on the first day, couldn't even fit it on the trailer. But we overcame that. It took two sides of the family, but we got it done eventually. I'll never forget that day, one of the many struggles I came across on this long but yet rewarding journey. She wasn't much to look at. Most people probably wouldn't even give her a second look. Years, decades of mother nature taking her toll, but I looked past that. I didn't look at what she was, I looked at what she could be. He gets up before the dawn, packs a lunch and a thermos full of coffee. It's another day in the dusty haze Those burning rays are wearing down his body The diesel's worth the price of gold It's the cheapest grain he's ever sold But he's still holding on He just takes the tractor another round And pulls a plow across the ground Another prayer. He says, Lord, I never complain, I never ask why. Please don't let my dreams run dry. Underneath this Amarillo sky, and he takes a tractor another round. Another round, another round, and he takes a tractor, another round, another round. He says, I never complain, I never ask. Okay. This has been an incredible experience. I've learned so much about myself, so much about my family's history that I did not know so much about. But you know, just sitting here thinking, if I don't come home with that grand champion prize, I can still walk away with the rich experience that I'll have for a lifetime. And no one can take that away from me.